I don't get how you can really need an update for a game that came out on the N64. I, how fucking old is this game? There's updates for it. Like, what? Like 1998, weren't it, when it came out? Oh, something. I'm sure it was like 1998, 99. Something like that. It's pretty old now. Yeah. It's f r ridiculous how old, how old this that fucking game is. Mm. And it's like, oh, let's have an update for it. It's like, update what? Ocarina of Time was the same, weren't it? About 98. Yeah, it's like, there's like a lot of uh, like classic platformers around then yeah. on the N64. Yeah, Mario. The, when the PlayStation was like, well, I've got something even better. It's called Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yeah. Which trumps, okay. Mar which trumps Mario, Zelda, and, ba and maybe Banjo anytime. I'm surprised that you brought Conker's Bad Fur Day on, um, on this as well. I think I think if you get into this, James, you'll probably really like it, you know? Probably. I think you've just got to like get into it and just really play it and... The first level is a, bit, is a bit poor, actually, but when you get past the first level... It's not Microsoft Game Studios, is it? <laughs> I bet you probably said Nintendo in the original, yes. Have you, ever, have you ever actually tried it before? No. This is the first time you've ever played it? Yeah, uh, basically, Bernie fucking loves him some banjo. Yeah, it's one of it. It's probably the favourite, my favourite game. Ever? Pr pretty much, yeah. Which one, Banjo or Tui? Banjo-Kazooie. I don't really like Tui that much. Mm. Tui, I, I couldn't really get into Tui. It was too big of a platformer. But yeah. Kazooie is one of my favourite games of all time. It's just yeah. fun to play. Really fun to play, in my opinion. This is your first time of playing it though, isn't yeah. it? So I've, I've, I've never played... I've heard the demo of Nuts and Bolts, but I've never played any band... Oh, I'm not even going to start on Nuts and Bolts just yet. I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> I might have actually played the demo of this in the past, but if I did, I don't remember. Yeah. Why is there two banjos? Why is there another one in the background? <laughs> there's Clones. another one. There's three, actually. There's one there, one in the middle, and one on the right as well. I think Clones. you can scroll to them. Look. If you press that one, sometimes he falls off his chair. Why are we keeping the Game Boy in there? Yeah. Sometimes he falls off his chair when you pick that one. Oh, these are game slots? Yeah, yeah. Three game slots. He'll wake up on that one, I think. And will that one get set on fire? Mm, I'm not actually sure what happens in that one. Oh, just says hello. That's shit. <laughs> so you don't you don't understand what's happening there, do you? Uh, uh, I know the premise that Gruntilda yeah kidnaps um, Banjo's sister yeah, and he's like fucking bitch because after her yeah. even though he could just fly even though uh, I think it was on Sanity Not Included they, they, they pointed out realistically Banjo could just fly up to the top of a tower and suffocate her in her sleep. That's true. But then there'll be no Banjo to do it so. <laughs> I, I did this um, great little fucking co uh, what a bitch, but I did this uh, great little comic using Gruntilda in Banjo. Oh yes. Well, like, Gruntilda's got Banjo cornered, and my main man Chris Byrne just storms <laughs> in, decks everyone, and like kicks her off the off the these uh, stairs where she breaks her neck and dies. <laughs> and this other one we fight our arch nemesis, the Dragon Lady. The Dragon Lady <laughs> punches her in the eye, and, like punches her through to her brain, I guess, and she just drops dead. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, this is just going over why she's actually kidnapping her, basically because she's prettier than her, apparently. She's basically Snow White. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Except, you know, instead of having like, the first skinned supposedly incredibly attractive 13-year-old, you've got like an 8-year-old furry. Yeah. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You also find out that Guntil is the most annoying boss ever. Because she keeps popping up all game, just with a little insults while she's playing. She's not even there. She just keeps popping up with her insults all the time. Yeah. It's so annoying. Uh, is Banjo just sitting nuts and bolts? Um. Oh, I. Uh, I think she might be. I think she might be. But I can't remember because I bought nuts and bolts and was very, very disappointed, as I'm sure most people was. Yeah. Because it was just so. Different, different, yeah, and bad. Yeah, some elements of the game's pretty good, but it, it looks fantastic. Yeah, it does. The graphics are cool, but yeah, but I do think Banjo's uh, nose was a bit too square. <laughs> yeah, it's like why, why isn't that more round? Same so got Kazoo. Kazoo was a girl, right? Yeah, because he was a girl. I always thought it was a boy for years, but until she lays eggs. So 
Yeah, that's true. But then again, so does Yoshi, and this is you know, it was on the same console, so you know, it confuses young children, it makes them think men can have kids too, but <laughs> they can't have kids, but I mean, give birth by yeah. laying eggs. And men do not lay eggs. <laughs> I hope. Well, you never know well, these well, days. Well, some kind of weird conspiracy that's been kept from him my whole life, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. But more realistically, that's not the case. And like, oh yeah, she, she's like trying to turn into a big mutant, isn't she? What I never got about this was, she just kind of lays put and just waits till she gets her. As soon as she sees her, she's just run in the house and hide. Or pull out her AK and blow her away. Yeah, all, all that, yeah. <laughs> But she just kind of stays there and just gets, okay, I'm going now, bye. You know, that could actually have been a, a, a funny uh, alternate mode to unlock. Like, in theory, instead of doing nuts and bolts, you could have just remade this game looking better. And done an alternate mode where you play as Banjo's sister. First thing she does is fucking spin kick from Tilda in the face. And then you're playing as her and Ban well, Banjo's getting some sleep. <laughs> then, then you get back, and maybe Kazooie joins her or the mole helps her or something. And then at the end of the game... Uh, Banjo walk, uh, comes out of the house, he's like, oh, what's going on? And his sister's like, nothing, Banjo, you just go back to bed. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, so basically you're controlling him now. So you can go in the house if you like. Yeah. I guess this is where, like, collectibles show up or something. Uh, this is only useful at the end of the game. When you've completed the whole game, I think, and collected every note, every feather, every jiggy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think if you look at the mole picture... You go into a game and it gives you it gives you cheats, I think, if I remember rightly. Cool. I find it funny how the picture of Banjo on the wall looks better than he does. Yeah, that's true. Bloody hell, I look so good back then. And then the picture of Verge looks fucking atrocious. Let's <laughs> be fair, the, the graphics have... It, Banjo does still look quite good, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, the graphics aren't bad. I'm, I'm just having a laugh here. I mean, it don't look as fucking bad as Mario. Mario. Oh, no. Talk, yeah, I think I've actually played the demo once before, like, years ago. I think, I'm like, yeah. I think it was around the time Nuts and Bolts came out. Yeah. Well, basically, the mole here just gives you instructions to... You can either skip learning the moves, or you can learn the moves and yeah. collect the um, the pieces, but... Yeah, I think, I think you're just experiment, really, and just, just see what it's like. So you, so you can yeah. skip the tutorial. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Now, on the main game, you can skip it. So, I, I can't imagine why the demo would be any different. Yeah. Geeky? What kind of name is Geeky? That's well tight. <laughs> Kazooie's the funny one, and... Banjo's a thicky. Banjo, just kind of boring, yeah. Hurt my name's Banjo. <laughs> if I could talk, this is how I would talk. <laughs> Pretty okay. much, yeah. And Kazooie, I don't know what she'd sound like. She'd sound like an annoying little brat, but funny yeah. at the same time. As long as she's not talking to you. She's not like Reese Repulsor from Power Rangers. So basically, <laughs> you can just press B if you don't want to... Fuck you and your training. I'm mm -hmm. I'm a be myself, bitches. Mm -hmm. You can actually make Kazooie walk with Banjo on her back. Yeah, you hold like RT on you or something like Yeah. That. It's quite funny, actually, how she can carry him. Because he's a fat bear. Especially at the start... Oh, it's not RT. But especially at the start of uh, Thingy. Uh, nuts and bolts in it. A and B, I think. Kazooie coming out and B's not doing anything yet no maybe it's different ones die evil vegetables yay so mm. what are the, what are, the sticky, are, are they just health basically yeah alright you have to do a certain move to kill these oh. you have to like crouch and um I think it's if you try crouching and then press B. There you go, yeah. That was it. Yeah. It's why Banjo should be in Smash Bros. <laughs> there you go. You, you collect six of them, and every time you collect six of them, you get an extra um, extra health. That makes sense. Yeah, increase your max health. Yeah. Cool. You can go like you can do all that, or you can go up and just. Try the first level, it's up to you really. Yeah. I'm going up the mountain. Very slowly up the mountain. <laughs> so you collect notes. I think there's a hundred notes in each level. Um there's ten jiggies in each level. Let's get jiggy with it. <laughs> <laughs> um you collect gingos. You collect six I collect gingers. G yeah, collect gingers. 
aka Jin Joe's. I think there's five. Where's Shawcross? Let's get him in here. <laughs> I think there's five in each level, and if you collect them, it turns out to be a jiggy. Um, what else is there to collect? You can collect them things that give you an extra li life. Six. Oh, there's two in each level. It's just a collector farm. Yeah, basically, it's a platformer, so you basically just collect, collecting all the time. Yeah. This is also what made people annoyed. This scene here was it's all set up for making her look pretty and Banjo's sister look ugly. Yeah. But it takes them eight okay. levels ah. and a quiz game at the end just to do this thing. We could easily just press the switch and it's done. <laughs> yeah. But it takes all game, all the game for it to happen. <laughs> it's kind of disturbing that he calls her mistress. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck we want her as a mistress? No, it's, it's quite weird. Okay, so if you go, if you go to <laughs> your left now, there's a jiggy. Isn't she just like a skull in uh, nuts and bolts? Um, yeah, pretty much. And this will get you into the first level. Yeah. It's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go find a picture with a piece missing. Can do, motherfucker. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like goofy. Up here. No, uh, the other direction. Uh, this way. Yeah, through there. Da, 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 da. Adventure. And you can't just go into it straight away. You have to go right and fill, put the jiggy into the picture. And then the, the door opens. To enter the world shown in the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. <laughs> like, All right, I get the idea. Just let me do it. Jeez, man. Hurry up, Mr. Mole, Mole person. Just let me hurry up. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press the B to leave. Why, why would you press B to leave? It doesn't make sense, does it? No. So you just wouldn't go in the level and just leave it. It's weird. Yeah. Kind of stupid. The picture is complete and the door to Numbo's Mountain is Mumbo's Mountain is open. Yeah, so this is the first level. Yeah. Go. It's pretty easy. There's nothing too hard about it. It's just... Uh. <laughs> Hi, but... <laughs> Now we get to bam bam jam cam zamam zamam bam 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 bam. It's not a very big level. No. Ah! Pr <laughs> prick! <laughs> Kill him! Eat shit, you motherfucker! Oh! Ooh. Who's that? They're, they're the Jinjos. Collect five of them to get a jig jigsaw piece, basically. Ah. Wee! Now I've seen speedruns of this game. I've watched speedruns on YouTube of this game and they can actually complete this level in about five minutes. Which it hundred percent five minutes. Which is ridiculous. It's just all the all the pieces of everything. How? They're just so good on the game, they know the best routes for everything. Five minutes? Five minutes, yeah. That's that can't be right. Honestly, it's unbelievable. You do they do that fast walk. I don't think you can die. Oh. I don't know how you kill him anyway. Um, Whee! You know, like, like I was saying before with Banjo and Kazooie's back? Yeah. They do that move pretty much all the way through it. Cause yeah, it's but the five minutes? You sure you, mean, you sure you mean five minutes, not five hours? The first level. Oh, the first level. I thought you meant the whole game. Oh, no, no, just the first level. <laughs> so I'm getting confused. Like, the whole game is five minutes. That, that can't be right. The full game, I think, is an hour and a half. Or maybe two hours. Is absolute. It's the absolute most. Two hours. I feel like the only game I can play speed running like Rugrats Search for Reptile and PlayStation. Hmm. Cause I, I, or maybe Sonic Car as well. Because both those games I had, I had them down in such a way I could complete either one of them in an hour fully. Yeah. Now you can do this and go up here, but it's very hard. You have to be a spider to do it. A spider. <laughs> yeah. I hate spiders. <laughs> oh, there's there's Mumbo tokens as well. I didn't mention. I think there's five in this level. Fuck it. I am leaving. Du, 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 du. Uh, actually, uh, you know, I didn't even realise that was the music here. I was just doing it anyway. <laughs> it's kind of amusing. And there's moves you can learn as well when you go to the mall. Ah. ah, maybe you haven't learned that move yet. I think it's I think it's actually now you learn that move. You know what she was talking about, the Kazooie. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think if you go to the mall now, I think you'll learn it. Cool. So, th this game's good, but I think it, the first level's a bit poor, really, in my opinion. It gets going, I'd say, the third or fourth level. It really heats up and starts. Yeah. You've earned an achievement. But this is just a trial game. So this is actually entirely new dialogue they're putting just for this. Yeah. Despicable. I'm not buying this game yet, I don't like it yet. <laughs> you, have to, you have to wow me first, game. You can't. I, I, I hate that, like, I think it was like, I think Dude Nukem Forever did it. Well, not Dude Forever, uh, Manhattan Project. That was like basically the way it worked was every checkpoint, I think it was, it was like, buy the game, buy the game. It's like, no. You should wow me first, game. If it talk, talk to the mole. I want your eggs. Uh, where is? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hello, Mister. Um, I think you press B or something. Press X and he's like, "Oh yeah, the there talent trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease, cause she is a slag." <laughs> Don't call my bitch a slag. I'm not your bitch. You is you bitch slag. <laughs> I actually have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Pull the trigger. Move around with the left stick. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. My dad's been a bit of a dick, making a lot of noise. Oh shit! Uh -huh. Do the talent trap to do this. Uh, what button did he say? I don't remember. I didn't even look. <laughs> it's you have to crouch and then press something. Uh. There you go. Do you have to keep it, keep it held in though? Yeah. Does it last forever though? Yeah, as long as you hold it in, yeah. Alright, oh, good. Da, 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 da. This is how speedrunners do it. Yeah. Because this is a faster walk, obviously, than just banjo walking. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Jeez, Dad, could you be any louder? Yeah. You want me to? Don't be a dick, Dad. This is Congress Tree. Yeah. Hey, be brosif. You can't even hit a fruit while bellend. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Aha! Uh -huh. There's also an orange. You have to climb up this tree to get it. There you go. Yeah! Clever bear find Congress gold! Clever bear will die. <laughs> I think if you climb up his tree, you get an orange. Oh, I'm looking clumsy. Oh, no. It's over. No. No. You can't miss in the game. <laughs> Don't do this. To me. It doesn't give you enough time no. to actually try it, to fully try it. Let's see, out of curiosity, how much it costs to buy this game. I'll like, edit out the worst it shows my uh, stuff. Uh, tenor. Hmm. That, not for me, it's not. I am not, to be honest, it's okay, I'm just not won over. I feel like they should have let you do, can maybe do everything in the in the, in the the first level. Yeah, I think they should like, they give you more time. Yeah, let like, like you do more in it, because... Banjo's game ends in my tower. Turn it up, I need full power. Uh, this is when she actually does, it actually shows her. So it just, so it just skip, skips forward if you don't do it? Yeah, it basically shows what happens. So there's the implication that if I don't buy the game, Banjo just gives up and goes home? Pretty much, yeah. He's Help me, Banjo, I feel all funny. That's his excuse. James didn't buy the game, so... No. I have failed you. Ooh. <laughs> no. Sounds like a freak, though. But why is the clothes change? What the hell? What's he doing here? Is he meant to be here? That's Mumbo. He's what he helps Banjo. Uh. But uh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, she's pissed off. <laughs> Game over. Yeah, it should have given you more time. Yeah. To end it just like that, you don't even experience what the game's like properly. Yeah. But yeah, this this. One of my favourite games, this, and uh, I'm a big Zelda fan as well, so. The Zeruda. <laughs> Zelda. 
Do you know the um, latest like Sonic game actually has a, a Zelda themed DLC level? Was it? Yeah, it's like, like, like Sonic actually dresses like Link as he runs around <laughs> and goes through a bunch of areas like Hyrule Field. It looks quite cool. Mm -hmm. But that is the end of the Banjo adventure. But I think, as this intro indicates, she's going to show up again perfectly fine. Yeah, now, she does. It would be funny if they actually had an alternate version of the intro where she showed up as a big monster farm and twatted him. You know what? Whoa. That would actually be really funny, that. It's like, you failed, Banjo. Why didn't you save me? <laughs> and she just twats him and he goes, and it's like, you should have bought the game. <laughs> <laughs> and that cuts to fucking bonehead over his uh, snog and sexy grunty. <laughs> <laughs> I have a weird imagination, don't I? You actually do sometimes. <laughs> it's quite worrying. <laughs> At times. What, well, the rest of the time? Yeah, you're tough. Yeah. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Again. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, as you can see, it came up on the audio. Oh, nice. Kind of dragging this ending out a bit too much. So, yeah. we should probably stop now, shouldn't we? Yeah. So, Banjo, not my cup of tea, but it is his cup of tea. Yeah. Just different. We're yeah. different, aren't we? Sonic's way better, anyway. Yeah, Sonic's a good game. This is Sonic. And Zelda. And Mario. Fucking every other game ever made. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Except, except it's Mortal Kombat, that's a big massive pile of shit. <laughs>